Hello YouTube, it's your boy Vintage Sterling Finds. Today we're gonna hopefully find some gold. I got these at the thrift store for a buck fifty each, so like with tax like three twenty. And we're gonna find some gold, hopefully. I didn't see any gold, I didn't really look, but this thrift store doesn't really look, so hopefully we'll find something good. Gold, silver. If not, I'll just sell the tie bars on eBay for like twenty bucks for the lot. So I'm not too worried. So if you like the content, please like, comment, subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Always gotta have a knife. So, let's just grab a random, this looks like gold. What is this? Can we do this without making a mess? Probably not. Let's look, let's look. not let's zoom in yeah, so you guys are gonna see anything it's gonna have to be like that this nope what is this it's like two I don't even know what that's for we'll put tie bars to the side See, even if one thing is gold, we'll make a decent profit. Gold, silver. Cause see, look at that. I think that's jade. Uh, you can just tell it's not gold or silver. Cause even like this, I see a K. So it says like KC. You can see, I see it's plated. Okay. But it's even something like that, you want to be careful. Tiger Eye? Nope. This will probably be smaller if we find anything. You see, that's plated. Check this. Pull this out. Yeah, you can see the um, stem is silver. Oh, we have the matching one. We have another one of these. Plastic. It's up a little bit more. Yeah, plated. Nope. Canada. This looks like it's sterling. Yeah, 925S67, okay. It's probably five or six grams, I think I only have the one. So that should at least break even. But we're not here to break even, we're here for gold. Gold, gold, gold. Maybe? Crap, that really looks like gold to me. Let me grab a loop. Yeah, I just looped it, unfortunately not gold. Let's see this. Yeah, same thing. You can see that's silver underneath. Because gold, they can mark it in weird places. I find usually you just don't get easy to read stamps. They're usually in here. 
ants, and yeah, they're usually hard to read. Stuck in there. Nope. Last piece. Oh, no. On to the last bag. All we can do is hope. Another Anson, I think that says in there. Ooh, this looks like it could be something good. Let's say, swank. But you see, it looks good. So let's say, Canada hickory. Don't want that. Oh, here we go. This is uh, Masonic. Freemasons. Hope this video doesn't get demonetized on YouTube. Joking. R something. Arson. That could be worth something, you know. Uh, damn, plated. Played it again. Arson. Yeah, put that there. What's that? DSMF. Okay. Oh, that's like a um. Yeah, the um cufflink. No, I think that's. Oh no, patent number, not sterling. Really hoping for some gold. Some people go gold mining. I look through th mine at thrift stores. Don't have to go out there in the cold. It just takes a lot of time. You barely find anything. Another Hickory, Canada. I think we have the other one of this, don't we? Not a big deal. I thought maybe I just saw it in the bag. All it takes is one thrift store employee to make a mistake. That say Voltaire. Kind of weird. Damn, I was hoping. One piece. Even be white gold. I don't really care. I take white gold. I take rose gold. Take 10k, 9k. I just want some gold. Pioneer. Uh, maybe this opens. Uh, Technic Smash. Anson. You can see that's cracked.
heart. Getting down to the nitty gritty. Swank. Sterling, okay. So at least we have some sterling. Kind of nice. Nope. I got stuck on my finger. And, and, well, let's see what we got. Back, paid 310 or something. We got 13 grams of silver. In Canada right now, it's about a dollar a gram or about 70 cents US. So I got about $13, so I made about $9. And I'm sure I like the Freemasons I can sell. I'll sell some of the tie bars. So all in all, small profit. I like to make big profit, so not the best. But I think it's a worth risk worth taking. If I had the other one of this, probably be a fair bit of money. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.